Welcome to this week's edition of View from the Booth, alongside Kobe Jones, Joe Tutino. We're coming to you from the Galaxy training session at University Field 1 at the Home Depot Center. The Galaxy one-on-one -on, -one on the season now as they head into round three of the MLS season. Sunday, uh, they played a 1-1 tie in a, in a rugged affair against Chivas USA. I was a bit surprised it got so, so physical. Well, I think it's what you expect from a Super Classico. You expect a physical game, and really with the, with the Galaxy being a little bit more of a superior team, you expect the, the underdogs, Chivas, to come in and try to just disrupt the play. They didn't want the Galaxy to get into a rhythm, and I think they accomplished that. Well, I like the quote from uh, Marcelo Sarvas who said, hey, listen, the Galaxy came to play, they came to destroy the game. Well, that's exactly it. I mean, and, and we've seen this uh, amongst many games over, you know, many different teams over the years. If you watch the sport, you know, ev everyone tries that. A team that really doesn't match up to the other team is going to come in and just use this tactic, destroy the game as much as possible, and try to get that goal somewhere in the 90 minutes. Well, moving ahead now, let's look ahead of the Colorado match because here's where the Galaxy's depth is now going to be tested. No Robbie Keane, no Omar Gonzalez. That's two big pieces of the puzzle. Exactly, two major pieces. Yes. You're going all the way to the front, your goal score, and then that that huge piece that we've that has been shown that he's a major part of the defense in Omar Gonzalez. Obviously, both of them having call ups with them not being there. You know, this is what you said. This is going to see how some of these young players step in. You know, and we've seen the Galaxy has good depth. We've talked about it. They have depth. Now it's up to those young players stepping into these positions and a little bit of adjustment from uh, Coach Arena moving players around. How do they do this? But I, I expect to see McBean, you know, coming in up front because I think he's done a good job. He's proven himself, you know, and he scored his goals. This week's opponent, Colorado Rapids, here at the Home Depot Center Saturday night at 7.30. Uh, for them, they started the season already uh, with a bunch of players injured, and so they have already have a young roster going forward. They do like this youngster, Deshaun Brown, who scored a goal at RSL in the 1-1 draw uh, over the weekend. Isn't the claim he's the one of the best forwards in the league? You know, <laughs> I, I don't know what the criteria is there. You would know better than me, but I know he's fast. I do know he's fast. Uh, in goal, they also have an issue. Pickens broke his forearm. He's gone for about four months, which means they have a problem in goal as well. Oh, exactly. They have injuries. You know, they have a lot of issues. They're missing players, you know, and, and there's the rumor that, you know, Pablo Mastriani might be coming back in this game. You know, but you know what? That's every team. The Galaxy has the same issues. Colorado's going to have those issues. But they are a young team, so I think this is a, is, a, is a group that can be dominated by the Galaxy because there have been a lot of changes, not only this year, but in the, in the years past where they moved players in and out. So I think the Galaxy is a more cohesive unit, and I think offensively still, even with the young players with the Galaxy, it's still a group that can really put it on this Colorado team. And and we're talking about Brown up front being this striker. If he is supposed to be, you know, one of the best in the league, this will be a test for him to see if the Galaxy, if he can, you know, break the defense of the Galaxy. And then it's going to be a test for the LA Galaxy defense, how they deal with that speed. Always a good matchup when the Galaxy take on the Colorado Rapids. We hope to see you here Saturday night, 730. For Kobe Jones, Joe Titino, thanks again for watching The View from the Booth. Wow. <laughs>